Hi and welcome to this big picture tutorial. In this video I'm going to walk you through the basic setup of the app so that you can start working in no time. Now there might be different starting points, for example you might have your tasks, your projects already in Jira or you might want to import them from a file, for example from Microsoft Project or Microsoft Excel or simply have your project template in a CSV file. So let's have a look at the configuration of the app first uh, and in this example let's assume I have my tasks already in Jira and I will use big picture to visualize this data. In order to create a project in Jira you need admin permissions. Let's create a business project, simple business project for that purpose. Okay so now my project is already created. And I will also create a couple of tasks to show you what happens during the synchronization of that particular project. Okay, so my tasks are already created. And now let's have a look at the apps at the big picture or big guns configuration. In order to do so, I'll go to the manage apps section in Jira settings, which requires admin permission. Here on the list on the left, you will find the big picture technical configuration and the most important section is the general tasks tab. Here you will find the general synchronization settings or in other words fields which will be updated when using Big Picture or Big Gantt. We have two sections here, the general synchronization settings which apply to all the projects and you have the custom synchronization settings if you want to have a dedicated configuration for selected projects. So I will select my waterfall project demo here and there are three scenarios here. So first of all we can disable the synchronization. That would be the configuration used by the agile teams for example or in, or in other words if you plan to use big picture without saving the start and end dates estimates in Jira. Alternatively you can pick from the list of available fields three types of fields are supported date picker or date time type of fields or time tracking fields such as original estimate and time spent plus remaining estimate. The original estimate would be the effort in that case. So what are the differences? Let's start with the no synchronization. So we are now in the box configuration tasks and scope definition page where we can define the scope or the other in other words uh, the, the set of tasks that we want to work with. So let's pick the project. So uh, I do have already my two tasks in scope and now let's save them and let's see what happened to our tasks. So as you can see we are now in the Gantt module and the tasks were added on the current date. The reason for that is the, the start and end date were not set for these tasks, so there were no date estimates and in that case the app will use the available date which is the creation date. So let's uh, adjust this view a little, add the start date field. Now there are two types of fields, the one, the first one that I just added is the Jira field and as you can see since the fields are not synchronized there is no date for that particular field. If I add the same field but this time I will use the other icon, the building field, this is a big picture or big gun field, which displays all the date estimates from the synchronized fields but also directly the date, the start and end date directly from the timeline. So as you can see whenever I extend the task or drag the left edge of this task it will be updated. So we are back at the task synchronization page in Jira administration and now let's set the start date and end date synchronization to the default fields which are the start date and end date custom fields created by the app during the installation. Whenever you change the mapping from a synchronized field to a different one you will be able to migrate the existing values which helps a lot if you plan to make changes in your Jira. However, with, without the synchronization this is not possible. Okay, and now we are back in the Gantt view 
And now let's see what happens when we drag and drop the left edge or the start date. You'll see that the start date and the both start date fields, the Jira native field and the building one will get updated. And if you change this date in Jira, it will be immediately reflected when you open the Gantt module since the synchronization is instant and it's bidirectional. Okay, so as you can see, my task was rescheduled and it now starts in March. In this last scenario, instead of using the end date, we can select the time tracking's original estimate or time spent plus remaining estimate. And we can convert the duration of your tasks to the effort. So if we have a look at the gun chart one more time, this time let's add the original estimate field. And as you can see, the effort uh, is equal, exactly equal to the duration. Now, if I drag and drop the right edge, you will see that the original estimate or the effort field will be updated. And the end date field is no longer synchronized and it will not be updated.